Hey there, it is Lee here from the Appalicious Teacher, and today I'm going to be sharing with you how you can use the app um, Book Creator to create a digital version of your classroom memory book for this year. So um, as you can see on my screen here, I am showcasing this very specific app. app. Book Creator. Um, you can find it at bookcreator.com. It is free um, to have an account and to add students, um, but they do put a cap on the number of books that you can have, and eventually you can like update to paid versions. But for what I'm going to be sharing with you today, you just need a free account. Um, you would just create a class um, with your name. Um, up here, you can set an invite code, and that allows you to have your students join your class where they can publish their own books. Um, you can publish a book. Your students can publish a book. You can work on a book together. It's actually really cool. So, um, like I said before, today we are going to be sharing how to create a class or memory book using this app. So, um, as you can see, I have the book started. And to make the cover, it was very simple. All I did was, um, oh, let's edit this book. There we go. To make the cover, all I did was click add an item and I imported this JPEG. And then I sized it and placed it in the middle. Okay, then you can add a text box. Same way, add an item, text. And I was able to add a text box for our memory book. Um, I was also able to add a text box here, Book of Memories from second grade. Okay. Then we can click the arrow button to go to the next slide. And here I wanted to just make a double page for our dedication page. And so I went ahead again and clicked add an item, inserted this image, and then added a text box with our dedication. Here is a sample of a student page already created. You can see I added some images, the background page here and the background decoration here. Those are not part of the app, um, but they're super easy to add. Once again, click add an item, import, and then you would select your picture. And then I added a text box where I um, imported a student writing about their special day in second grade and then imported a picture that depicted more about their writing and added a little um caption for that so let's start another page so i'm going to go ahead and import an item and i'm going to go to files and in my files here i'm going to go to the jpegs of my school days product and what i'm featuring here is um let me click here oh, let's cancel that for a second let me show you Everything I'm pulling from is from this product here, my school days um, digital mem uh, di school days memory book. There's a printed version, a PDF version, and a editable version, and a um, a digital book version. And in the digital book, there's also a uh, Google Slides so that you could do that. You don't even need Book Creator, but I just love Book Creator because of the ease of it. Anyway, so. For a book creator, we're going to import and we're going to import files. And I'm going to go to my school days folder and there we're going to see JPEGs. I'm going to click JPEGs and then I'm going to import a page. And you're going to see there's like empty pages here and written pages. And I want to import a um, written page. And then I'm going to bring it off to the side and size it down so it fits the page. Okay, then I'm gonna import an empty page for the picture that we wanna add. The simplicity of this app is just like what I love. And you can do this on an iPad, you can have students do this um, on the computer, Wherever they have access to technology, you could even have them send you and then you just put it in and you create it. So wherever they have access to technology, they can type something up, um, they can send it to in a Word file and you just copy and paste it and put it in. Um, so here we have our page. Now I want to add a text box and we'll add a student name. We'll say my student is Alicia 
um, Moore's. And I can move that text box here. And then let's oop, add a text box. And then here's where I could paste her writing if I had some. This, this is my writing. And then I can add it space it out and it could fill up this page. Another cool feature is I can add, obviously I added background images, but I could also add shapes if I wanted. I could add a star if maybe a student's talking about that. Um, I can add word bubbles if students want to create, um, because it doesn't have to be a memory book, they can make any digital book if they want to create like a comic book, they can, they can add text boxes and the shapes. Um, another cool thing in this app is once you're done, here's my book published. It actually looks like a real book, right? So I can flip through and I can see I've got like pages and it flips like a real book and I can read all the writing or I can actually have it written to me by clicking the read to me option. So obviously it's not going to read what's on the images because all the um, reading program sees is just images, but anything that you've typed in with the text boxes, it'll read it out. So if you're having your students publish a book about an animal and they want to add text about that, it'll read that book out for them, which I love um, because it just makes it a special thing. Okay. So now I'm going to go back and I'm going to go back to my books. Obviously here's the one book I have, but there's also a library where I can look in and see other books in the same, um, here we go. I can see other authors and their books that they've made. I can combine books if I want to. I can share this book. Um, I can press collaborate and share it with my students so they can each add a page. I can download it in the end as an ebook and send it out. Obviously that option, they wouldn't it wouldn't be read to them, but, um, that's a great option. I could print my digital book if I like and have it a physical copy for students. If I know maybe they're going to come pick up stuff and I want to have something else special for them, I can print it out. So, but that is just a really simple way. If you are looking to publish a class book or wanting to do a simple memory book, but maybe are short on time and are not uh, wanting to deal with a bunch of technology, this is a great, easy, friendly option for publishing digital books. Obviously I showcased my school days memory book here, but you do not need to use that book. You can use, it's actually, they can build it from the ground up and make anything with this book. So thank you so much for joining me today. If you are interested in grabbing that school days book for yourself, you can find it in my Teachers Paid Teachers store. It is called Class Memory Book and Craftivity. And um, this file includes, like I said, a printable version, an editable version, a digital classroom version, and JPEG so you can upload it to um, an app like Book Creator like I shared today. All right. Thank you, guys. Have a great day.